So this is one of many pups that will be born on the islands this year. Um, we boast the largest colony in the country. 1,603 pups were born on the farms last year. So that's 1,603 little white balls of fluff. So the pups will know us pretty much every part of the female. And the female will also try and encourage the pup to suckle by doing various things, moving into different positions. She'll actually, if you can see now, she's turning on her side. So the females, when they start pupping, they'll start out around sort of 180 kilos, roughly. They can actually be down to around 100 kilograms once they've finished um, feeding a pup in just 18 days. So as you can see, on this pup, it's got a little bit of blue dye on the tail. So the reason for that is we've been busy. So I'm going to distract this female now. Me and Bex are going to try and distract her while Andy goes in and sprays the pup, OK? So we just need to divert her attention away from Andy, basically. We need to keep her eyes on us, just like this. Come on, missus, come on. And Andy goes in there and sprays the pup, just like that. And that is that pup done and counted. And we can now leave them in peace. So how many is that so far this year, then, in total? Seven, four, nine. Yep. So these pups will stay like this for about three weeks. For about 18 days they'll feed. So the females have lost so much weight over that time, they'll actually leave the pup, and the pup will have to fend for itself at just three weeks of age. And what it'll do, it'll hang around for a bit, explore its world, eventually it'll find its way into the sea, and it'll be completely independent. So that's why putting on as much weight as it can now is so important. So the pups are very inquisitive at this age. So for a few years, actually, when they're in the water and people go diving with them, they can be very, very, very inquisitive. They're basically just checking, checking us out and exploring the world around them because they've never seen humans before. They've never seen rocks or grass. They like to explore the, the textures and the smells. We probably smell quite strong to them. So they, yeah, they're just exploring the world around them, really. So the work we do here on the Farn Islands is very, very important. It's one of the oldest running studies in the whole world on grey seals. Other colonies in the UK actually use the Farn Islands as a model. So the work we're doing is very, very important scientific research. And it's great to be a part of.